Good morning, fans of the privateer. ECB day today. Got a lot on my mind after a pretty lively session. A little pretty lively session yesterday, I have to say. Our boy Munchen with his uh, implicit or explicit views about the dollar. But let's now cast aside and we look to our friend Mr. Draghi. First chart I'm going to pull up is U.S. equities. A couple things going through my mind was number one is the down move yesterday from 50 to 25, pretty severe. Fair enough. We closed at 40, basically smack in the middle. Sort of an indecisive day, but we will we are sellers today through the lows, 2825. Gotta keep it professional, right? Make sure you have your stops in place once you're short. One of the reasons we're still standing, even though we've been bearish stocks for a good six months, is we always protect the downside. So once you're short. I think the safe spot, the safe place for a stop is going to be 28.32 after you get short. But give yourself seven, ten handles. It is S and P's. It does tend to get a little bit sloppy and less clean, so you need a little bit of space. Size accordingly. Uh, this, to me, is the most interesting chart of the day, non-euro related. Let's just quickly look at the Kiwi. Last night, uh, CPI in New Zealand came out poorly low. Low CPI reading. Kiwi got crushed. 74 and a quarter down to 73.30. 90, 95 point move. We're inching back up. Uh, Hard to say with a straight face. Let's get short Kiwi in this uh, short dollar uh, obsession, market obsession, short dollar market obsession. But that's a pretty powerful move, which made for a pretty powerful candle. We've already printed a new low today, 73.25. If you're desperate to buy dollars, you might as well do it against Kiwi. Um, what else do we got? Cable just ripping still. 143.18 high. One of the things that's going to drive cable today is this euro sterling level. 86.90. This is a big level and will attract attention. Speaking of which, we are going to sell some euro sterling right here. Um, we do think 90 is going to trade before ECB, and I'm not sure on the follow through, but uh, this is an important level that a lot of people will be watching. Can sterling strength cross over and even show itself against the euro? One to watch, 86.90. What else is there? Oh, the intrepid Aussie yen. This is our trade war idea. Of course, short Aussie yen. Testing our patience because of this Aussie move. Um, you know, Aussies just keeps going higher, 81.10 at the moment. But the dollar yen side is balancing it out so we're just kind of floating around here between 90 and 30 keep core short try and get a better average add through 90 this is our recommendation and now finally euro dollar what to do what to do so we got ECB Draghi today you want to spend the morning thinking about what he's going to say and when he's going to say it so you prepare yourself but 
looks like to me we're going to see 125 the figure at some point and could this be so early in the speech he doesn't say too much it goes up to 125 and then later in the speech or in the Q&A he mentions currency strength and we get whacked uh, just from a guy who's been watching currencies for 25 years I feel like I've seen this movie before I'm going to do some more work on this. I got the next six hours to really drill down and, and put a strategy together. Could involve euro, could involve euro yen through 135 the figure, could involve euro sterling 86.90, could involve euro Aussie. All kinds of opportunities. You got to see what you like, uh, what you want to do and put it in play. We'll have uh, more on our specific strategies at the New York Open. I've said enough. Cryptos are higher today. Steady Freddy. Um, but not a whole lot to say there. Just grinding higher. Good luck this morning and more importantly, good luck today at ECB. Ciao.